Bob Regis, and today we will be looking into the history of Bogna, Bogna Regis. Now, if we look at the Latin roots of the word Bog, this means a, a peaty marshland, so Bogna, obviously something to do with a peaty marshland, and Regis means royal, so it's a royal bog, basically, which is why it's called Bogna Regis. Now, we will actually be interviewing the locals to find out who actually said those immortal words, bugger bob, and we'll be attempting to find out today. <coughs> Here we are, coming into the main high street. Um, there, already you see you can buy a lottery ticket, and uh, recruitment centre over there, bookmakers, this town's got everything a man could need. Even women, look here. <clears throat> yes. Now, rumour has it that it was King George III that originally said on his deathbed, bugger bogner, but um, is this true, I wonder? Now, this is very interesting. One of the first butcher fishmongers I have yet to see, and it is actually boarded up. Wrong about the boarding up, that is actually open. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Would you like to say anything for YouTube TV? Yes, I certainly would. Uh, it's a wonderful program, but youngsters shouldn't be allowed to watch it. I agree, yeah. Now, I'm actually researching where the immortal words Bugger Bogner came from. Uh, Do you have any idea? Yes, uh, King George V, uh, and he didn't actually say Bugger Bogner, he actually said Oh, excellent. They weren't allowed to print it, and people royalty didn't use that language in those days. No, quite. Well, that, uh, George V. Mm. Thank you he, very much for he that. He lived down at Craigwell. He stayed down there. Right. Thank you for that. Mm. Ah, this must be one of the king's watering holes, the Alex. Very, very famous in Bogner circles. Um, yes, I think it's named after Alex Lester, who uh, now has a BBC radio show at six o'clock in the morning, the Alex. It's actually 20 past 10, but the Alex is open, so we're going to go and have a look. Are you open? Yeah. Ah. Ah, OK. Thank you. And here we are coming on to the main shopping area where some of the most salubrious shops are to be found. Ah, here is the famous Morrison supermarket, which used to be Safeways, and uh, very, very well known for the public toilets around here, which is a great place to drink in Bognor. We're going to have a look. Here we are at the public loo's, a little bit early in the morning to uh, want to party, but uh, by lunchtime things are really hopping up. And there's the uh, Scope charity shop for clothing, you see? Ah, there's a special offer. Free entry to the Weald and Downland Museum. And here's Hair and Beauty. Obviously, oh, this is where the locals come to be made to look really beautiful. Hmm. There they are. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Have you sold many poppies today? <laughs> Good. What a wonderful welcome. There's welcome to Bogner Regis and a map of the town and a few pansies which wouldn't look amiss in Brighton. Chibo, add a little to your life. Oh, this looks interesting. Wow, everything you've ever wanted. 
Heaven on earth, eh? And here is the famous shop set up by Richard Burton when he was married to Elizabeth Taylor. And funny enough, it's still called Burton's. Now, Richard, although he was a Welsh dwarf, actually was very, very good at dressing himself. Uh, and some of his finer lines are still carried in this shop. And, uh, yeah, quite amazing. Still called Burton's. Yes. What a feast this is. Look at all those beautiful cakes. Yes, I bet they've got some pasties in here as well. Yes, pasties, there we have it. The uh, gourmet meal of Bognor, the Cornish pasty. And here we have the fabulous Bognor Winter Gardens. Absolutely terrific. And over here, I don't believe it, the Rolling Stones original shop set up by Ronnie Wood in 1971 is still going. Now, Ronnie Wood and Mick Jagger used to go to the Club Rex, which I used to go to, in 1972, and they opened this shop, and it's still here. It's absolutely wonderful. Club Rex used to be down there towards the seafront. They pulled it down. It was far too popular. And, and here, you know, as worn by the Rolling Stones, you can still get the original gear. Fantastic. Wow, what a royal delight this is. Good morning. I'm actually trying to research how the immortal expression Bugger Bogner came around. Have you heard of that? Yes. Could you tell us the history of it by any chance? Not really. <laughs> no. Was it something to do with the king, King George? Yes, King George the Fifth. Yeah. He came to Bogner for our help. And he said, bugger, Why did he say that? Do you, do you have any idea? No, I don't. No. No idea why he said bugger, Bogna? No? Because he didn't like it. Well, I think it's a wonderful place, don't you? Yes. Yeah, well, thank you very much for that. Stacy's Cafe. Oh, this looks interesting. There must be a picture of Stacy here. Was that Stacy? I don't know. That's what I... Oh, it's more like a hairdresser's than a cafe. Oh, very odd. Oh, that must be next door. Ah, Stacey's cafe is actually next door. Oh, smoking. We're not going in there. Crumbs. This shop is still here after all this time. Good morning. Hello. Oh, can I ask how you got the name Crumbs? No idea. It was originally here. Ah, right, thank you. OK, no problem. And there... A beauty to behold, the Hottam Art Centre, which has a theatre and a cafeteria, and the local thespians can be found discussing their latest works over crumpets in here. So we're going to have a look. I must just film this. I actually came in here with my brother three years ago for a grilled punani, which was absolutely wonderful. There we have it. Wonderful place. It's not open yet, we'll try again later. Grilled punanis. And this is what you call a sign of the times that you can park on the pavement and nobody gives a damn. Hmm. Right. The Hotter March charity show. Probably some good gear in here, no doubt. This beautiful palm tree caught my arm. I haven't seen a more um, stressed specimen since I was with the drunks in Tunisia. Hmm. Well, here we are filming inside a toilet. Technically not allowed, but I like to live dangerously. This is one of the highlights of the Bognor calendar, the Motown dance at the Riverside Caravan Park. And I'm very sad I shall miss it this weekend, I shall be away.
and you can't leave Bognor without having a look at the birds on the beach at Bognor. Well, this one is certainly worth a look.